This is the lockpicking lawyer, and I like to keep an eye on the security devices that bear the moniker Amazon's Choice, mostly because people do rely on these types of endorsements. I know that I do on occasion if there's something I know little about. So I was more than a bit disappointed to see this product as Amazon's choice for a key cabinet. Now, I've never heard of this company before. I think it's pronounced Unic Life, which is odd. I suspect something is either lost or gained in translation, but they put their name on this product with only two moving assemblies, the lock and the hinge, and they managed to mess both of them up. The lock can be decoded in seconds, and this hinge can just be disassembled. I'm going to show you both issues. We're going to start with the lock, but before I can decode it, we need to change the combination to something I don't already know. So let's put that into change mode and scramble those wheels while they're facing away from me. Okay, that should be enough. Let's go back to operating mode. Then I'm going to close the door, lock it, and scramble the wheels again. Okay, I now have a box to which I do not know the combination. I'm going to use the notch decoder on my Covert Companion. I, of course, sell these over on CovertInstruments.com. But if I use it like this, you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing. So I took one of the decoder blades out, and I'm going to use it as a standalone tool. I slipped it between the lock body and the code wheel, and I'm pushing it against the side of the internal wheel. Now I'm just going to turn that wheel until I feel a flat spot, and I think I just got it. Let's move on to the next one. We have the second wheel. There we go. Okay, now all of the wheels are aligned, at least all the gates are aligned, but they're not aligned with the fence in the back. So what I need to do is move these just a couple notches to rotate those flat spots around to the back, and I should be able to open this now. There we go. The combination is four, six, eight. Now let's turn our attention to the hinge pin on the bottom, which they actually left outside of the box. I'm not sure if you can see that, but what it allows me to do is take this hinge pin tool that I sell over on Covert Instruments and just knock that through. You can see the end of it is sticking out. If I cared about Keeping this box in pristine shape, I probably would have put a piece of tape there, but I really don't care. I'm just going to get the pliers and pull that out. You can see we can now get into this. Okay, folks, obviously there are some serious defects with this product, and I think it would be very unwise to consolidate your keys, in fact, consolidate your security into this box. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.